All right. It's a secret. It's a secret layer. Secret layer, super drop 2023. We just, uh, the fall one just ended uh, last night. So now we got this, the, the new holiday one here. Um, really quick notes before we start getting to the cards. Because Lowry's going to go through. Uh, basically, <clears throat> what we do here is we're going to talk about the break point of everything. And what that means is how many of these does it take uh, how many secret layers of a particular one does it take until you get one free? So the idea is that we, you want to keep all the, the cards, like you, we're, we're all collectors. We like the cards that are in these and you want to keep one for yourself and then sell the others, but you want to get it for free. And so basically the break point is if I give you an example, let's say one of these drops, they cost 40 bucks and the total value after fees and everything was $70. All right. What that means is that you would need to buy three because if you bought two of them, you're spending $80. And if you bought two of them, the second one's only worth 70. So you're $10 short. So you'd need to buy three. So the break point would be three. You need three of them to be able to get one free. And then from that point forward, it's the profit. So let's say there were 80, then your break point would be two. So that that's kind of how we're talking about when we do the break point. Um, this one has an interesting thing to it, as you can see right here. Uh, you do get 10% off of your purchase if you purchase the first week. If you yeah, have, you purchase before 1127, uh, right before midnight. Uh, the other thing is every $200 you spend, and that one's going to pop up here in a second, you get Locust God. Uh, interesting the little alien. It looks like aliens, like the alien from Aliens. You know what I'm saying? Are they trying to tell us something? <laughs> it's a crossover alien. Um, so every $200, you will get that promo. I don't know. Is it, did it say it's foil? Uh, I can't tell from I that. I bet yeah. you there's some details, but you, you, you get know, that. I didn't read any of this. <laughs> we had so. a scarab God last year at some point where they did the same thing. Every $200. Was that foil? I don't remember. <laughs> I have it. I don't remember. I don't think it was. No, that it. wasn't foil. I, I'm, 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 it wasn't foil. So can't wait until they get the scorpion god. Yeah, they're going to do be all a the big gods. driver. <laughs> no, <laughs> locust god is. I like locust god. I feel like is the best one. It's not the most expensive. Like a locust god, just drawing That's and getting the the one ones. It's fucking fantastic. Um, that does really well. So that that oh, it goes until December twenty sixth. So just after Christmas. And then this one ships on December 6th. So our last drop starts shipping on December 1st. So these are going to ship around the same time. So if you bought the last drop, the fall one, this one's shipping a lot faster. And then, oh, last thing is we'll get to the, at the end, there's more bundles. Instead of doing like the all bundle, the foil bundle, and the non-foil bundle, yeah. this one has like six other bundles. So they're like trying to figure out scenarios of like which ones are good and they're mixing things together so we'll get to that at the end but first we'll we'll just start going through each one and kind of breaking it down for you yeah. uh you ready to start reading lowry let's start with our i love it i love reading <laughs> i don't <laughs> all right we're gonna be doing tomb raider and there's a foil <laughs> and a non-foil edition and that is 50 and what's the non-foil 30 so it's 50 and 30. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, nope. It's 50 and 40. Sorry. There is okay, one. This is 50 and 40. The, uh, right. When we get to the Galaxy Foil Galaxy. one, okay. that one is a 50 and a 30. So this one is 50. I'll read, and I'll read this first one just because it is a brand new card. Yep. With, uh, you got Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, green, blue, red, 3 4, first strike reach. It has raids. So whenever you attack at the end of the combat uh, of your turn, if you attacked, you get a treasure token. And then also, whenever Lara Croft attacks, exile up to one target legendary artifact or legendary land from a graveyard, any graveyard, and put a discovery counter on it. You may play a card from exile with a discovery counter on it this turn. Um, it's a pretty sweet So commander. that is a brand new card. That's pretty sweet. I like that it does a lot of different things. Yeah. I don't know if I like the reach part because it does not work with the card at all. Yeah. Other than maybe she reaches for things quite often. In... Yeah. So, I mean, she could use her, like, uh, I don't know, her ropes. <laughs> her ropes? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like Tarzan type thing? I don't know. I mean, it's. I, I, I have not played it off. <laughs> Uh, Tomb Raider in my day. I mean, Dalsum, uh, when we had Dalsum ha uh, have it for Street Fighter, it makes sense because it's stretchy arms. But yeah. 
with her, maybe it's her her tools. Her tools. Yeah. All the all yeah, we're all tools. <laughs> all right. And then you have Search for As Kanta, which is a double sided card. Pretty cool. I'd say having that in there as well. Um, you have uh Anger of the Gods, which is called Storms of Yamati. Oh, look at you uh, yeah, reading yeah. the cards. Reading the cards. Yeah. Reading the... <laughs> that was a, was a mistake. I'm gonna do it from now on. But it's uh, the next this one one's is easy. The Grim Whisper, which is Bow of Nylea. Great card for a lot of utility there as well. Good to get another foil version of that. And then Totex Ooh. Spear, which is Shadow Spear. One of your you don't got all-stars. one. This is this is why you get it. Yeah. Um, it's a fantastic card. Oh, there's and then you more. also have Academy Ruins. Uh, Good card for artifact Kipchi. decks. Shit. Uh, yeah, Kitsi, uh, Sunken City. <laughs> Kite. Eh. I mean, Sorry, it says you, kite. You, where are you? Where are you on this? Well, I'm sorry. My, I, I have the other buttons up, so I can't. You got to hit the one, 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 two, and I'm not reading, so I'm not worried about. I guess I should get All it right. up. Uh, that's fine. That's what she that's said. Fine. You're right. You're right. I'll do it. <laughs> no worries. Uh, and then not. also a treasure token, yeah. and Which, so that would be the full. What? <laughs> well, I was gonna say it's. I mean, it's a treasure. It's interesting. I have. I have it broken. I might have overpriced the treasure a little <laughs> bit because it's not that unique. But whatever. Um, I mean, that's a lot. There's a lot in this drop, right? I mean, you mm-hmm. have a new commander, so it's a little more difficult to judge these. Um, uh, I guess typically what I've been doing lately is trying to figure out, is this a usable commander? Like, is this actually a good thing? I think it's raid ability is kind of nice because all yeah. you need to do is attack. You don't need to have her attack. You can just attack with a creature. You don't get more than one. You can't be like, I attack you, you and you, and you get three treasures. It's just you, if you attacked, you get a treasure at the the end of turn. Um, I still think, Have, sh- what, what were you going to say? I'd say having a legendary artifact or a legendary land specifically That's in a little the tough. graveyard is tough. Yeah. Uh, for th- sure. Like, like, there is only a handful. No, there's more than a handful, but it's not an abundance of good legendary land or, and or artifacts. There's good ones, but are they in all your decks? And are you going to see that right. in other people's decks? Right. And are they in the graveyard is the other part. I mean, it's easy if it's a fetch. You know, if it just said land or artifact, fuck yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Unless you're playing around legendary. Like, that's the only way I could see that is if you're trying to do that. Anyways, I'm not going high on her as a commander, so I really put her at a, like, I'm not breaking down each one of these. It's just this one specifically because it's new. Since it's new. Um, You're probably looking at $10 to $15 for non-foil and probably $15 to $20 for foil. Uh, That's that's where I'm thinking this will land. Um, the big guys in this one is Shadow Spear. <clears throat> Shadow Spear yeah. is just, it's a $20 card for non-foil, uh, 30 plus for foil, uh, borderless and everything. Uh, but, but with how many cards we have in here and how many of them are usable, like Academy Ruins, all that stuff, you're looking at non-foil, uh, a break point of three because the total value is about $61. It's after fees. So when I'm, when I'm saying the value, it's after I've already taken 15% off for selling it, which is way more than it is. It's about 12 to 13, 14%. I like to go over and then I add in shipping. So you're looking at $61 of value for the non-foil. Again, this is a $40 drop and then $84 for the foil. Uh, that puts you both at break point three. So that's not bad. It's break point three is good. Like I think break point yeah. three, yeah. three and you know, three and below are my like really good ones. If you get to four and five, that's like, eh, if you really like it's it, a lot of work. Yeah. But three is decent. Like you can, you can work with that. So for this one, I, I actually, I, I dig this one. Uh, I think I like the shadow sphere. I mean, that's really what's getting me in this one is I think the shadow sphere could go a little higher. We've had some printings with the Lord of the Rings stuff um, recently with the full art stuff. So I wouldn't say this one's the best one, but it is Laura Croft, you know, right. and you she know, has street cred. She I she think. has a couple very movies. nice eyes. <laughs> moving on, Jesus. moving on. Uh, <laughs> I likely I'm. Wait 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 wait, wait wait wait. Can I do? <laughs> she has very nice eyes. Hello, boobies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. You got that one. Um. Yeah. So that one I am thinking about at least thinking about buying uh the next layer that we're going to talk about is jurassic world life breaks free there's a foil and non-foil edition 40 bucks for the foil 30 bucks for the non-foil comes with five different cards 
Um, let's start off with the first one. It's gonna be your biggest spec ever, which is a Tali Primal Storm. It's gonna be Tyrannosaurus Wait, Rex. Can what? I? Can I? What? Can, did I say something? You're an asshole. <laughs> I don't even. I don't know where my button is for that anymore. Where is it? <laughs> the get the fuck out of. Oh, there it is. Get the fuck out. <laughs> It's, if you it's guys only don't, been reprinted every chance they possibly could. If you guys every don't chance. know, you can, like the inside joke of this one is when we used to do one Since spec. Four years ago now. Yeah, we used to do one <laughs> spec to rule them all, and we would pick a spec from like we were just going through sets and like going backwards. And I picked a Tali because I was like, oh, get the promo of that with the all five uh, magic symbol or, uh, <clears throat> you know, the colors. And then they reprinted the shit out of it. Like it went from, hey, a good spec to basically absolute crap. The same that next week they reprinted it. And so uh, it was, I think it was the next day. Yeah. It <laughs> was like, <laughs> so, but I think this is a really cool scene in Jurassic Park where the T Rex has flipped over the Jeep. He's yeah. yelling. And Aku says, I, it, that's by, a far sweet the, scene there. by far the coolest Itali, though. Yes, I agree. I yeah. think, yeah. I think you're, you're right on that. So, okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> out of the next one, we have. Um, mine is kind of slow too. You have Velocal Raptor, which is rampaging Ferocidon, which is the players can't gain life and one damage whenever a creature uh, enters the battlefield to that player. I don't know why. Oh, there this... is no life gain thing. I thought there was a life gain thing. Life gain? No, not with these. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Shit. Okay. So it's menace. Players can't gain life. Three. Three. Oh, back. back it had in a different spot. I was like, "Why?" I'm very <coughs> sure that's part of the card. Oh. Okay. I thought you were saying there was a life gain. I went to the next oh, card. I should so... be reading these things anyway. Yeah. All right, you yeah. got Indominus Rex, which is Polyraptor, which just got a reprint as well. Which really quick. Um, why is this one blue? <laughs> like, this is all blue. It's just. Maybe just how it was in the movie. It's supposed to be the I genetic thing, I think, is, you know, genetic years. code. But, like, yeah. it's all blue. And it's like, why? But, okay. All right. But I like it. I just, That's everybody's going to think it's a blue card is what it is. So. Everybody will. <laughs> yes. You have Triceratops. And the next one, which is Wayward Swordtooth, which is the fourth reprinting in the last mm. four months. Yeah, they, they've itself. tanked that card. Yep. They've gotten oh, that down. Boy. Uh, and then you have Spinosaurus, which is Regisaur Alpha, which I think is an uncommon. I'm not 100% yeah, on that. Yeah, Maybe it's a rare. but no, it's not worth anything there. Um, yeah. it's Oh, this is a rare, but it's not. It's not a good card. It's, it's not. Dope. It's, yeah. Um, it, it's sweet. I mean, Don't it's me cool. Wrong. Okay. It, 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 it's very cool. Skin-wise, fantastic. Great. Love it. Like, that's what's going to drive this. You're going to get one. I'm yes. not going to say boo to you. But there is an angle of doing these because we got another Jurassic Park one coming up, probably the better of the two because of who is <laughs> featured in it. Uh, I especially don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's, uh, the, you know which one I'm talking about, right? I used it for I the thumbnail. <laughs> well, let's just get well, to well, it. Well, really quick, though. Uh, so this one for non foil uh, value is $32. So there's no break point because it's at. I mean, there's a break point. It's at 32. So, <laughs> you know, that's a, it's a big number. Uh, the foils are 38. So there really isn't much. Now, uh, cave caveat to this is these are special. They're skins. They right. will probably go for higher. And because these aren't that good of cards, they might even go, you know, higher than I'm thinking. But I'm just going off of how I'm taking this is the value that we're looking at. What we what there is in the wild, and this is just where it's at. So this is just not going to be there. And yeah, like Aku said, bad value, great art. Exactly what I, I'm saying. I there. think so. also like almost all of these fit into a uh, Gishath deck, yeah. which I think is kind of important because they all have a deck they go to. Yep. yep. And so... And people like you, dinosaurs. You, we all love dinosaurs. Right. You know, I mean, right. that's that's why I think these will go higher, but I'm just, I'm giving you the value of where it's at. I think it will be higher than what I'm saying. Um, but this is just your bottom. Okay. Let's, let's do it that way. This is your bottom. Yep. I think it can only go up from where it's at. So, uh, so no break point. I can be okay with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get to the second Jurassic park. The, the, mm. the, the sexy. All right. We have Jurassic world. Dr. Ian Malcolm. You have a foil and non-foil edition here, 40 and $30 respectively. And, um, yeah, five cards in this set. You have 
uh, Lab Maniac, which is chaotic, chaotic, chaotic. Oh Jesus! Chaotic. Should have practiced before, and I'm. I apologize. <laughs> That's not even a word. I'm very sure of it. Um, but this is yeah, Lab Maniac. Lab man. Uh, move on. Next one. I uh, have Malcolm's Mercurial Mirth, which is Tasha's hideous laughter, which mm-hmm. kind of fits and all that kind of stuff. But it's just another milk card. Uh, oh, too it. sexy, too sexy. And then we have <laughs> Ian, Convalescent Charmer, which is Tasker. I wish this pose was used for Oko, but all right. <laughs> yeah. this is, that's an I awesome. Dig it. <laughs> I love that art. <laughs> He was very sexy. <laughs> too All sexy. Right. Too I get se- it. I get too it. sexy. I get it. So that, but he's Tasker, the Golden Fang, yeah. which also works there. I just wish it was Oko. Yeah. Uh, but then you have Doctor Ian Malcolm Atla Palani Nest Tender, which is the Egg Commander from a few years back, and then you have the Egg Token, mm. uh, O One Defender, and that's kind of it. Yeah, that's it. All right, so. <laughs> This I, one is worse than the other one. <laughs> you could kind of tell. It, it goes into mill decks, right? Right. right. Like uh, that's what you're doing with this. And then they made lab lab man Hasger. Uh, laboratory Ma- maniac is the only thing that's really worth it in this one. Uh, you're looking at ten, sixteen dollars. You know, ten non or twelve non foil, sixteen foil. Um, non foil total though is twenty one dollars. So there's no break point because it costs 30 and your foil is 32. So again, you're All under right. what it costs. So again, <clears throat> if you, you like the Jurassic the Park, there is an angle. If you want the Jurassic Park cards, there is a way to get positive, but it's in the bundles. And we'll get to that at the end here. Uh, for All now, right. we're just kind of going through what we got for this, just the drops themselves. So uh, this, this is not interesting to me, but yeah, if you like it, if you like him and all that stuff, Go for it. Yeah. All right. Um, I was mistaken because this one I thought was Someone say steak. Uh, no, I just thought this one was Lord of the Rings because it has no. the same poster art as the Lord of the Rings stuff. It does. But it what it is 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 uh, illustrations by Micah, whatever that name is. It's vintage comics, is what it is on this one. So, anyways, what is this oh. one called? And um, <coughs> I should probably. Have- Look at it. All right. It is Tales of the Time Stoppers. You have a foil and non-foil edition, $40 and $30 respectively. And we have four cords in this one. You have Beacon of Tomorrow. Uh, that um, See, this is where I thought it was. Lord, like I thought this was Gandalf right I there. Could, I could see that, I guess. I mean, it's futuristic Gandalf. Can yeah, you, I guess. The wizard is never late. <laughs> um, but oh. taking an extra turn. And then you have Nexus of Fate, which is instant speed taking another turn. Which I'm getting um, this because I don't have Nexus of Fate. D- uh, side note. Oh. Uh, there's actually a couple side notes on this one. Uh, Beacon of Tomorrow's only has one foil printing. Uh, Nexus of Fate is it not in, it was never in a set. It was only a box topper or buy right. a box promo and only in that, foil. That, that's over 20 bucks, right? Yeah. Uh, it's 17 Eight. and 20 respectively for foil, non foil. Um, uh. And oh. <laughs> It, it, what Aku just said is these are sweet looking and readable, unlike the Lord of the Rings ones that were in the. That's kind of true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking that. <laughs> um, the next one we have is Time Reversal, which is kind of shuffle up your hand, graveyard, uh, and then draw seven cards again. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, and then the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Exile, the last whatever. one is Time Sp- Stop, Oops. which is uh, six mana, and then that ends the turn. And you, that instant speed is pretty sweet in that deal. Have you used Time um, Stop at all? I used it in my um, end the turn deck. I it was from Commander Legends, the first mm. one, which mm. is uh, I forgot her name though. So yes, I have, but that's the only place, and it was kind of expensive, and only was there because that's what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, so okay, so um, I already mentioned the Beacon of Tomorrow's thing, one foil printing. And the Nexus of Fate thing. So this yeah. one is actually pretty decent here. Only in the non-foil section, or the foil section, sorry. Non-foils, okay. you're looking at $25 value. Uh, but foils is $61. This is after fees again. So $61, okay. that puts it at a break point three. So you buy three of these, you get your one free. You sell the, the two out of here. So 
the home runs in this is the Nexus of Fate and the Beacon of Tomorrows. Yeah. They could be a little bit higher because of the one when <coughs> I say the one foil printing of Beacon Tomorrows, it's a little bit higher, so I kind of adjust it and everything with that. Nexus of Fate could be that one could be the the the, the interesting one of the the whole thing because it doesn't have a, a non foil printing. So this is this could be the case where the non foil might be higher than the foil because we only have there's more of the foils out there. But um, typically we say go. I mean foil. the art and all that stuff. Right. I would just say like for me since I have Nexus of Fate and I'm not a big extra turns guy because it does. Yeah. It, it makes shit. the game longer yep. and kind of people roll their eyes a bit. So <laughs> I have one. I don't. I'm not going to buy this because I have it. And oh, good for me. Damn but it. I want to hit the... say if you. Oh, <laughs> good for you. If you don't have a Nexus of Fate, I would also say you you probably should get this. Yep. So this one I have to so... get because I don't have a Nexus. I've never wanted to spend you it because. have to. Well, because I don't, I don't want to buy it because, again, we're, we're in the same boat. We don't do a lot of extra turn stuff and so i don't want right. to go out and spend 15 20 bucks on that or whatever so uh yeah i dig this one uh, i like the art and everything this is our first one that is actually worth buying potentially so out of the, well no no we tomb raider was good that was actually a good one the first one so well, now we start getting the big guys uh this one isn't yeah, uh, there's not a lot of uh, cards in this one but this one's really fucking good yeah michael synth wave you have a foil and non-foil edition 40 and 30 dollars respectively this one only has three cards um you have michael synth golem this is the first reprinting for it uh i i like this style i don't know if i love this art but i'm i definitely plan on getting this little package here uh, next card is Mycosynth Lattice, which is one of my favorite cards in the game. It just turns everything and anything into artifacts. It's a sweet-ass card. And then the last one is Mycosynth Wellspring, which is when it comes into play or dies, goes in the graveyard, uh, you get to go get a basic land card and put it in your hand. And that's a very usable card. Um, goes in a lot of, like, colorless decks. I put it in Oscar. I, I think all three of these are home runs, even though this is a common you know yeah but i i love this one <laughs> well i mean that gets used a shit ton like you just said like it's a, a good way to get your ramp in there for decks that don't have a good have good ramp or right. whatever so um yeah like you mentioned the golem mycosynth golem is there's only one foil printing it is technically two printings because they had the list otherwise it's one foil one oh, printing on the list it I did make that. it on the list but it only has one foil printing uh so non-foil for this one we have a value of 37 so if you're just going strictly off of the non-foil stuff it's not that great you're looking at a break point of six it takes you six of these to uh break even I, I would say though that these are the premium versions of all these cards so i think it could go a little bit higher on the non-foil likely uh yeah. but the foil version your value after fees is 105 is so that because a, of the golem Yes, because, well, that, yeah, it is. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah. but I'm not going based off of, I had, I put it, well, actually, I did put it right at the, uh, the Mycosynth, or the one foil printing. I think I dropped it a little bit, but um, the Golem. Golem. But even still, the Lattice is $39 in foil. So that's almost, the Lattice by itself almost pays for the entire drop. So this one is a break point of two. It does get me a little weary where it's three cards. Like that throws me off a little bit because if everybody starts buying these cards uh, or this set, like you could have the um, the creator effect where 70,000 of those were bought from the secret layer and it tanked the prices of all of those. You know, they've, right. they're still recovering. Like I have to keep dropping my Elish Norn. Like Elish Norn. Elish Norn you can get for like 20 bucks at this point. Like Elish Norn was like a $40, $50 card. And now you can get Elish Norn in Phyrexian for 20. And yeah, so anyways, that's the only thing that worries me is you have three cards. And if this one gets bought to hell, you're you're kind of in trouble. But it's still really good value. Breakpoint two, yeah. like just going off the numbers is a breakpoint two. I love the art in this. Um, I, 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 I plan on getting this one. I, I was going to say, this like is what sure. I'm getting. So, uh, all right. 
So that is our first break point two. Uh, then we get into, I, this might be my favorite one. Actually, it is. Yeah, this, it is. this is my favorite one. I hate that it's. <laughs> oh, shit. We have, have our- a foil, non foil. This Galaxy foil is 50, non foil is 30. So we got, we got a, a $20. There. Yeah, this first time it's I'm done. I'm not I- happy about that. Well, but this, it has. When they did the Galaxy foils with the uh, <laughs> command beacon and stuff before, they didn't give you a non foil. So I'm, I'm glad they at least right. give you an option in this. So that's true. Um, this has five cards in it, all highly used. I love it. It's Arcane Signet, you have Lightning Greaves, you have Soul Ring, you have Thought Vessel, and you have Command Tower. Every, um, every single one of the Galaxy Foil uh, stuff that they've done for Secret Layers, even the last one, are cards that you could use in 99% of decks. Like, every absolutely. deck could have all these cards in them. I don't know if they did that and on I, purpose. I hate that it's 50 bucks. They knew what the fuck they were doing. Um, well, the last one was 50 bucks too with the... Uh, was it? Yeah. I, I, I think it, I bought two or three of those, yeah. and I'm thinking two or three of these. Oh, for well. good and I'm gonna, for you. I'm, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use. I'm gonna start using Thought Festival again, yeah. I guess. <laughs> I use it all the time because I, I, never, I hate having to discard my hand, so... Uh, oh, you draw you. so many I, cards. I draw so many cards. Good for you. Um, so yeah okay so let's get into this one here uh uh jacuzzi here is saying non-foils look awful yeah actually i didn't let me look at that really quick i kind of want to see how it looks because we have the little foiling going on there let's see what the uh oh yeah it does look a little different on this oh stop it Hmm. it went it jumped i clicked on this and it went to the other one all right let me just see you can get a little bit more of the art. Oh, that's interesting because I didn't realize how much was in the background here uh, for the Arcane Signet. So I, I would say you could see the detail more with the non-foils yeah. here than you can with uh, the foils, which is interesting. But anyways, um, this is probably the best one uh, so far with foil and non-foil. Uh, your non-foil, what were you going to say? You want to say something? I was, I was going to say, I can see this having the Praetor problem. Yes. As in, like, I'm going to buy but two to three of these, you but I'm not selling them, and I think people will buy this to use it. But wouldn't you have said the same thing with the, the, the last one? Because it had Command Beacon. I mean, Strip Mine isn't used, like, a ton. Fable Passage... And then you have the right. Ash Barons. Yeah. I think the only one that's highly, highly used was Fable Com- Passage. Well, and Command Beacon just wasn't because it was so rare to get that. It was so expensive. Right, right. That was that's kind of true. Yeah, but um, uh, but I would agree. This one is like all the these are like <clears throat> Command Tower. If you're these in, are stable staples. Yeah, th- this is the if you have two, two colors. Is complaining about this right now. <laughs> Uh, but what I was going to say is the other ones, they were $50 and that price point could kick people back a little bit. The Paraders were 40. So I don't know if that really yeah. has anything like, uh, has anything to do with it, but anyways. Uh, okay. So non-foil. Oh, really quick. I have some notes that, that I can agree with that. Aku. What do you say? Aku. He's just saying that the, it's using every GD deck. And yeah. so demand is going to outweigh probably no matter what. Yeah. So I, I can agree with that. One of the things I wrote was best versions of these cards. Uh, for the uh, you can argue on some of them, like Soul Ring. There's some other cool ones. This is a really fucking yeah. cool Soul Ring, but with Galaxy Foils, it really uh, steps up the game a little bit. Um, there is Lightning Greaves. This is probably the best version of this as well, other than the dog version of. There's a dog version secret layer, and those are going for forty plus. So that just kind of gives you an idea. So every one of these in the non-foil, they're between $15 and $20. It gives you a value of $69 after fees. Uh, so that's a break point. Yeah. Of, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even catch. Oh, yeah. That's a break point of two for this one. Uh, foils right. with that extra bump, you know, so it's $20 difference between your foils and non-foils. Uh, you're looking at $89 in value. $89 right. plus. I'll say that because, like, I gave Arcane Signet $20. It could be higher. Uh, $30 for Lightning Greaves, $30 for Soul Ring, Thought Vessel, $10 plus, and then $30 for Command Tower. Um, the breakpoint of that is three, but borderline two. So I think this is the first time we've had the non foil be higher, but that's just going off of, again, 
what's out there. I think the there. galaxies right. are so... So much better. Right. So I, that's why I have a plus next to every single one of these because I think yeah. the number I have here is the bottom, and I think everything's an up. But, again, we'll keep saying this, you could have that Praetor problem is if there is so... If there's 70,000 of these bought, it's going to take two years uh, for these to come back. Again, I forgot to say I, at the beginning... The, the, <laughs> the maturity of secret layers a lot of times takes 10 to 16 months. Um, so just give you... It's on a quick flip. Right. Uh, there are some, though, like I, when, when they start... like the, I, here, the Here's the other thought on, like, is it ever going to... Like, I barely use Praetors, but these are in all of my decks. So even if you buy perfect. three or four yep. of them, you, right. it's, it, you're just going to use them then if you... Or just set it on it or break even or whatever. But what I is think... Soul Ring's use in decks is... Oh, I don't want to even pull stuff up. 200,000 pull... plus. So even yeah. if there's 70,000 bought, like, just, it's fine. It's just going to be bought up. Yeah. I, I think I think demand would soak just like Aku was saying. Yep. So this... Th I'm not giving away our uh, later uh, bit at the end where we do one spec to rule them all, but right. uh, <laughs> if we this, this is it, buddy. Uh, all right, so this one is is a very good one. This is the best one we've seen so far. Uh, let's get into the next one, which is this little guy right here. <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> Showcase Lost Caverns of Ixalan Foil and Non-Foil Edition. Um, 30, this 40. is bad, right? Mm-hmm. This, this oh, is real yeah, bad. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. going. It's it's just real bad. Um, this has a bunch of cards from the last Dick Salon. You have what is it? Five cards. You have Captain Lannery Storm, which is really meh. Yeah. Um, you have Admiral Bracket Brass, which is very just outclassed as a pirate commander now from the new set coming out. Um. So. I, I, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Wait. Uh, and then you have... Got something wrong there? Elanda, uh, uh, the Dusk Rose, <laughs> which is just getting its fourth reprint in four months again. Yeah, that was a really expensive card. Yeah, and then Kumena, Tyrant of Araska, which also just got a reprint in the Merfolk deck. Same thing with Elanda. Uh, they look awesome. Fauna, Butcher of Matt Magan. Um, again, pretty meh for me. Yeah, um, your man is right because your non foil, right. non foil value is twenty five dollars. That's after fees and shipping, uh, so right. no break point there. Your foil is a little better; it's fifty, so your break point is five. Um, but break point five is not something I want to deal with. I don't want to have to buy five of these to get one of these free. So um, this one's kind of a pass for me and. Probably a pass for you because I'm not using any of these. I mean, Alenda, I do use. Um, I don't remember what I use her in. Kimena, I, I you have a Kimena in yeah. Merfolk decks. But you could probably I had a deck. You could but... probably you'll probably be able to pick up Kimena for under twenty if you want. Do I to. want to though? Right. Probably not. Yeah. Uh, so this one's a pass. All right, uh, we move on to our next one which is oh we get the okay so this this one's a little different i do want to do a little breakdown normally the lands because we get so many of these full art land stuff oh sorry you can read the beginning i didn't even look at it i just uh, skipped over the okay so i haven't even looked at these okay so so we have the snow covered plains islands mountains swamps so forests. paradise frost frost mm -hmm. so we have the um, uh, like you mentioned there there's the snow covered plains all right island oh that's pretty swamp Oh, look, it's a, like a, I don't know what that is. It has like four horns there. Uh, a little goat thing and then a fox. Okay, so here's here's the thing. We've had... Those are just, those are just big eyebrows. <laughs> We've had snow-covered uh, secret layers before and currently, but those are the pixel ones. So those are pretty cool. They're very unique. Uh, these are very pretty, these, these lands here. Um... Those are going for fifteen to twenty dollars. No, fifteen to seventeen dollars. So fifteen for non foils, okay, and seventeen for the foils <laughs> between seventeen and twenty because it depends on which one you're getting. Uh, so actually, the break point on the these because they're snow covered and it's a little more unique than the regular basics. Uh, break point of two for the non foil and break point three because you have a value of sixty one and value of 
69 again, Lowry. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so this one is not good for you. <laughs> so this one's not bad. Like Sorry. normally I do the breakdown of the lands and I'm just like, this is, you know, we get so many full art basic, but this is snow covered. So want to do a little bit more of a breakdown of this. And the art is pretty sweet. I mean, I think actually my favorite might be the uh, the planes in this this scenario here. That one looks, I love, I love snow. I mean, I, I think you're right about like the break point. I just, I don't care. All right. I'm not willing to spend 40 or $30 on basic lands <laughs> right. that, that aren't just knocking my fucking socks off. <laughs> I need something to be, like, I like the synth lands. I like the pirate lands. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of where I'm at at this point. Otherwise I ain't spending that kind of money. Hey, what's up, Bill from Woodbury? He's on. Uh, Round to the all right. Now we get into the last one and then. We get to the bundles. So the bundles is all where right. you got to stick around for the bundles because they did some unique stuff with the bundles. Is, so we'll, we'll break all that. Uh, down. You'll have to. I did not look. Oh, at sorry. Them, sorry. This one gift wrapped. is gift wrapped. There is a foil and non-foil edition. Forty, thirty dollars respectively. Um, this one has five. Like I said. All right. You have giver of ruins and all right. Oh, sorry. Got... <laughs> Did you want me to? What? You went, all right. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted me to stay there for a no, second. I don't, I don't think you need to. All right. Um, I don't watch what you're doing because it's too small for me to read. Oh, okay. But, gotcha. uh, remember, I'm blind. Uh, <laughs> Distant Melody, which is a cool sorcery, but very cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you have Cathartic Reunion, also a cool card, but very cheap. Mm -hmm. And then you have Moments Peace, which is a more expensive card, but like rarely used is that mm. it uh one, no, more. one more homeward more. path um which is the land that gets back all of your stuff when people steal your stuff uh and then stuff and that that's it yeah. right there i am um, i am not i don't this, enjoy this art this feels very um like my kids like could the, do it <laughs> little big awesome is that what yeah like i think we watched a show little big awesome on uh, whatever and that's that's very much this feel uh, um, yeah, non foil. Uh, I guess the only thing I had was there's one foil printing of Moments Peace, and that's at $18. I put it at 10 I didn't even put it at the 18 Yeah. Um, non foil for this is 23 after fees. So no break point there because it costs 30 And foil is 33 So that's less than the 40 So no break point on this one as well. So this one is a, a no go for pricing wise um okay so we got all the 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 actual drops of everything the the best ones just by themselves drop wise is uh tomb raider has break point three we're just going off the foil uh the synth wave one uh micro synth wave one has break point two uh tales of the time stoppers also has a break point of three and then we have the the wormhole one has a break point two three for foils and non foil, and then the snow lane. So there's there's a couple. The rest are all duds. <laughs> like those are price wise duds. If you Get like the if art, you want them. If but... you like the art, it's pretty good. <clears throat> um, but let, let, the interesting thing here is they did some bundle stuff here. So we have our normal bundle, 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 all that fun stuff. So you have your uh -huh. your big goodie bag loaded with everything bundle, which. That is every single non-foil and foil for $500. The value, total value, if you add up all the, the stuff that I just went through of the breakdown stuff, that value is 915 So you really, if you wanted to, you could buy the big goodie bag. Maybe if you wanted to keep the foils or if you wanted to keep the non-foils, you could sell off the other one and you know make some money off of it. It might break you even or get you a little bit of a profit there. So it's not a bad thing to get the the, the big goodie bag. The foils, you save, oh, well, the big goodie bag, you save $160 uh, when you buy that. Uh, if you do the foils, it's 300 The total value was 561 so almost a double up on that. So that's, that's not that bad. Uh, Non-foils, 220 and the total value is 354 Let's see, we're in non-foils there. All right, so that's your, your total. This is your typical, like, breakdown when they do all that stuff. Um, yeah. but now we have welcome to the jungle Jurassic world bundle. So this one comes with 
all the Jurassic World stuff, foil and non-foil. So there were the two of them, but they were a foil, non-foil. Uh, that one cost 110 <coughs> The total value. So this is where you could make the Jurassic Park one worth it because they give you a discount of $30 if you do it this way. And right. the total value is 123 So you're up $13. <laughs> so if you really want the Jurassic Park one. Trying to make it work. This is know. probably the one I would. Like, even if you just wanted to keep the foils. Like, let me see here. Uh, if Trade you, away the non-foils. Yeah, so non-foil was 21 and 32 so 53 I think, I think you're trying too hard on this one. Well, <laughs> Think of this. So you sold, you buy it for one ten, and you sell for one or for fifty three. So what is that? Let's just round things up. That's like fifty five dollars. So you're making a little bit. It makes it a little bit worthwhile. But you got to do the effort of selling. So there's that. Do you really want to do that? <laughs> there's that. <laughs> so that one's kind of a mad. But actually, the one that's really interesting is the laura croft ones uh let me not just click on the 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 things here so laura croft there's a foil and a non-foil so the jurassic park one doesn't split it the laura <laughs> croft one does so the laura croft 110 for the foils the value in that is 234 dollars. so they give you a discount not only uh a 30 dollar discount to buy this one but you also you have 234 dollars of value what's in that one is the Lara Croft, the uh, the one that I said looked like the Lord of the Rings one that was the Tales of the Time Stoppers. And then it comes with the Galaxy Foil uh, bundle one there. So that one's fantastic. Like that one's really good. Like think of this. We put it this way. If you bought two of those Galaxy Foil ones, that would be about what? A hundred bucks. So for ten dollars more, and the value in that is, where the hell is it? It is here. So the value is about ninety. So it gives you one hundred and eighty dollars in value. This bundle, because they give you a discount, gives you a value of two hundred and thirty-four. So you're you're up fifty dollars buying this yeah. compared to just if you were going to double up on that. Um, Non-foil seventy-six dollars, and it's one fifty-five. I'm not reading it in the comments. You can. Jump I know. In I know. I'm the just. Comments. There's anybody saying. You got a congrats on 300 from Ted. Oh. <laughs> um, Same thing from Bill. So would the Laura Croft one <clears throat> interest you at all? Because it has that, that one does the foil version. Yeah. Yeah, because it has three things that were I break point three or higher. You know, break point three or two. I should say three or lower, whatever. Um, and then we have two more holiday gift bundle, which there's a foil and a non-foil. The foil is a hundred, the non-foil seventy. That one comes with the lands, the snow-covered lands. Uh, what is the other ones in this one? Snow-covered lands, the wormhole. So you get the galaxy foils again, and then right. the gift wrap, which was bad. The bottom one. That was the yeah. best one. So <clears throat> that one had a value of one ninety-one in foil and one fifty-three in non-foil. I, I'd still prefer the other. Like if you're doing a foil, yeah, not that one's not for me. Yeah, the galaxy so. foil one. I jump in that, and then the last one is the jungle bundle, and that one's ninety and seventy, and that one, that one's kind of a big math for me because the non foil total value is seventy eight, where you're paying seventy for this, so you're you're saving eight dollars. That's about it, and then the the non foil or the foils are one twenty, so you you make thirty, but they're just they're they're don't, the bad don't do ones. that yeah they're the don't bad do ones. that okay so there's the bundles there's the bundle breakdown there's everything the last thing we got to do here lowry is do our one spec in the common tongue it says one spec to rule them all one spec to find them one spec to bring them all and in the darkness find them all right lowry you have one spec. You have it's, one of these. One of these that you can choose. You can go deep on. You're putting your your mortgage on. You're putting everything on. You're gonna. You're you're I putting it do on. That at all. <laughs> Ever. You're putting all the money. And and speaking of, I'm taking my second I'm more shot for the donations. Houses. All that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Josh. Here goes the cheers to that. And this is gonna be gross. 
All right, you go for it. Tell me which one you're going to get and why. I, I mean, I'm going to go wormhole. I apologize, but I also appreciate that you... Hmm, Second squirming. one is not good. Squirman and Worman, uh, allow me to go first every time. And so I look like a smart guy here. And well, then I'm going to look dumb in about 10 minutes when I don't know what a <laughs> card is. Okay. So well, I appreciate it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I mean, that's, that's you're going to go with a bundle anyway, I think. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm going to do. So that, that would, I don't feel bad. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go with the Laura Croft uh, foil bundle. Uh, so Lowry went with the 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 best one. It is by far the best one. Like, if the bundle wasn't there, if the bundle wasn't there, I would probably, I would probably go with Mycosynth Wave. It's between that or just Tomb Raider. Uh, Mycosynth Wave just has that value there. But because we have the bundles, I'm gonna go with the bundle because there's two hundred thirty four dollars of value. I will spend that hundred and ten and double up with that stuff so i think they're both right. i mean that makes sense i hate how much money i might end up spending here and the hard part is that 10 percent discount is it's make and you gotta it's gonna be really nice you gotta buy well no i mean it's nice but you gotta buy it in the next week so just just remember right. that guys <clears throat> you got a week and you get 10 percent matters when you're that adds into these calculations. If you're buying a bunch of these, uh, you want to kind of get that kind of figured out here. Cause then you also get, um, you know, the bonus cards with that too. So there's a lot going on with this one. So, uh, I have a week to kind of figure out which dollar to do lines. There's a bunch of dollar do lines that I got to hit that button that I got to figure out with this one. You're right. Oh, good for you. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely, you want to get that 10% uh, discount. You don't or. Like we both ordered ours last night of the last one because we waited we until the last minute. It's not gonna happen here. <laughs> this one, you want that ten percent because that's uh, you know per hundred dollars you're getting ten dollars off. I mean they're trying how, to get everything in work. this last quarter so that they know how much money they have. <laughs> you're you're probably made. right. That's exactly it. Sorry to say, <laughs> stock market rules America. <laughs> uh, all right, gang. Uh, for that should do it for the uh, the secret layer. Make sure if you guys are just tuning in for the secret layer stuff, give it a like, give us a sub, give us all that stuff. Uh, we gotta, we gotta take out those, uh, those serial thumbs down.